morning and welcome back to MSU Hari Ini, where today we will be discussing the cultures in Malaysia with our invited guests. My name is Mira and I have Ahmad today with me. Just like every other day, we will share a lot of knowledge with our distinguished viewers. Hello, let's start with our first topic, which is the effect of nation society. So our country is a multicultural, multi-ethnic and multilingual society and many ethnic groups in nation maintain separate cultural and identities. So the society of Malaysia has been described as Asia many Chia. Okay, let's welcome our first guest today is Miss Tasha. Thank you so much for coming here today. Uh, it's an honor for me that I can be in your show. Honestly, I've been watching your, your channel since it started, and I know you guys share a lot of important general knowledge that young girls should take part. Well, we should thank you, Ms. Tasha, for making the show more exciting and your presence. So let's proceed in your opinion, Ms. Tasha. What are the effects? of nation society on culture in Malaysia. Okay, thank you Ahmad for your question. So, uh, the effect of culture on society in Malaysia, we have two effects which is we have a uh, positive effect and we also have negative effect. I see. Um, what are the negative and positive effects uh, of Malaysian culture in Malaysia? Could you help us understand more? Okay, a positive culture effect in the term of culture in Malaysia in two strange friendship ties. For example, okay, for example, we need to continue a relationship between a relative either through bloodline or through marriage. Simply put, we uh, need to, to visit each other. Let's do! Visiting our relatives could definitely strengthen our relationships. Yes, that's right, Ahmad. So, by knowing uh, the culture of the various also is a positive effect in Malaysia. As we know, in Malaysia we have a uh, different race and religion, so I think it's, it's a good thing. So, they can, can learn about our religion and we also can learn about their religion. So, I think it's a positive effect in Malaysia about this. Okay, now let's focus on the negative effects, Ms. Tasha. Well, do you know the negative effect also can affect the country? Oh, really? How is that? The example of negative effect is a racist. A racist, it can cause of a fight between between race and it, it can affect our future, our future generation. So they don't want to learn about another religion. They think uh, it's, a, it's not a good thing to know other religion. They, they just want to keep know about only, so I think it's not it's not a good thing to... That's right. We can also be divided because we don't understand each other. Oh, mm, that would be a really serious matter when it comes to the future generation because they will be on their own at school, right? Mm, so it's us adults. It's our responsibility to help our children to understand and avoid racism in the family, right, Miss Tasha? Hmm. Let's hope that we will continue to live in harmony. And that's all about the effect of Malaysian society. Miss Tasha, any last word before we move to the next topic? Okay, so I think that's all for me. And thank you for inviting me. And I hope I can be this show again and see you again. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Miss Tasha, for sharing with us and exchanging the studio today. I was kind of bored with, with just Mira and the only female in the show. Just kidding. So, now we have a special guest, Mr. Shazman, which will help us to understand the second topic, culture and race in Malaysia. Okay. Since Mr. Shazman has great and wide knowledge, when it comes to culture and race, uh, what will you share with us today? Thank you for inviting me. Today I will share some knowledge to my brothers and sisters and the young generation 
about culture in Malaysia. There are three main races in Malaysia which are Malay, Chinese and Indian. They are the largest races in Malaysia. We also have another race as well, right? Apart from the three races that Mr. Sazman mentioned earlier. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ahmad. Yes, we also have uh, different other races such as Iban, Kadazan, Baba and Yumna. And the culture of each race is also different such as in terms of politeness, celebrations and manners for each race. Is it true, Mr. Shazman, that Malaysian citizens uh, celebrate each festival to respect each other? Hmm. Um, yes, tradition and culture also include all aspects starting from the birth of each race. Our ancestors used those traditions and culture and we as a new generation just have to continue it well and maintain it in order for it to become a symbol of our country. Yes, that's why culture and racing are very important to be taken into consideration nowadays because current generation being stuck with foreign association and following foreign cultures. So current generation does not care about the importance of the culture and they have applied since before. So guys, therefore, we as parents need to teach and apply civic education or civic characteristics in our children and future generations. Thus, we will become a peaceful and rich country with various cultures. Well, thank you, Mr. Shazwan, for sharing with us so much of your knowledge. Um, please, share some of your last words before we proceed to the next topic. Thank you. Uh, for me, people's ignorance or insensitivity to the culture cues of various cultural frames of reference like values, okay. norms, beliefs, and practices led to interethnic dispute, difficulties, uneasiness, and uncertainty. Environments that are culturally symbolic have a big impact on how an individual lives. And for that, I want to encourage all the people out there, the community, especially in Malaysia, to be aware and take care of interethnic relations among a diverse ethnic community and learn about each other's culture for us to be a stronger nation. Thank you. Okay, so that's all from our amazing guest, Mr. Shazman. Thank you so much. The next guest will be a bit different, so stay tuned, guys. For the third topic, today, let's invite the next guest to join us virtually. Welcome, Miss Jiva. Welcome, Miss Jiva. Thank you so much for willing to help us understand more about the impact of culture on education. Yeah? Hi, guys. Hi, Nura and Ahmad. Hope you guys are doing well there. Um, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me here. And it's a pleasure for me to be on the show and help everyone to understand about this topic. Yeah? First, could you share with us? The definition of culture, Miss Diva. All right, Ahmad. All right, what is culture? Uh, basically, culture is the tradition and beliefs and ways of living shared by a particular society of community. Like it refers to the values and norms shared by a specific group of people. Yeah. Oh yeah, just like us, Ahmad. Um, as Malay, we believe Hari Raya Al Difutri is the best time to forgive and ask for forgiveness. Hmm. Uh, Miss Jiba, how is culture important for our education? Yeah. Um, of course, yes, uh, culture is a very important thing, should be included in our education system because mm. you no. Know, in this new era, we forgot the value of having so many different viewpoints and experiences to draw on. You know, people and civilizations are becoming increasingly similar as we transition into this new 
technological era you know and therefore preservation provides a larger immediate benefit to our students our community our society than new development right and people migrate to invest in societies that mix um maintains the culture all right um so basically like in a natural right if you ask me it's crucial to preserve our culture to preserve and let people learn about our culture it keeps the member of a particular community feeling connected and at home as a result the elders left the younger generation a rich cultural inheritance in terms of foods culture tradition language it could be anything you know we are the Malaysians are so blessed and if you're so unique you know it, right and they can create their bond you know while sharing the culture okay wow interesting i have learned something new today thank you miss diva for the food food so action. teachers need to engage the students in team building activities or even in classroom where students can learn about each other's different cultures and learn to respect them too like us we as human we living in malaysia we have um so many different cultures so many different religions so we need to respect each other we need to learn about each other so children are able to reflect on not only their culture but culture in general we all thanks to miss jiva for the input any last word before we end the session miss jiva Once again, thank you so much, guys. Mira and Ahma, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. I'm so glad that I could be part of this topic. You know, um, I hope that every every one of us will preserve our own culture and respect each other. Thank you. Peace. Thank you so much to our beautiful guests for sharing with us today. Topic four. Benefit to community. Okay, guys. So we have reached to our last topic. For this one, let us invite you to another guest that will join us virtually today, Miss Jia, to share about the benefit of culture for the community. Hi, Miss Jia. Hello. Can you hear Everyone us? hear me? Yes, 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 yes. We can hear you. Okay. Yes. Everything is great. Okay, so let's welcome to the show Miss Jia. This guest here is a close friend of mine. We finished our studies together, and I am so proud to see how successful you are today, Miss Jia. I can't believe that you are way further than I am right now, and I am so impressed. And I am grateful that you are my friend. So it's good to meet you again, even though virtually. Thank you so much, Ama and my dearest friends, Mira. It's really good to see you again after so many years. I can't believe that we used to have our talk show together, and now I am one of your guests. Mm-hmm. I feel um. left out. <laughs> hey. Okay, let's proceed. It is true that the culture can give benefit. To community. Yes, it's true needed. Let me share some of the benefit. The important things is being culturally aware make us global citizens. Culture awareness can help you break down culture barriers and build bridge by learning how to appreciate and respect those who are different from you. As you come to understand more about yourself. And your own culture. Wow, that is a great benefit to the community. Mm, what about the benefits of cultural diversity in a community? Cultural diversity help us organize and respect. We of being there are not necessarily our own, so that as we interact with other, we can build bridge. So that we interact with trust, respect, and understanding across culture in a community. Apart from that, what can be added 
to communication among different cultures. Where you have been culturally a week of communication, it's control over what you personally see and how you see it. You can control how other people interpret your words. Communication between people from different cultures may be prone to this misunderstanding, especially when it may involve someone who is speaking their second language. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Gia. As I learn about different cultures, I will begin to treat every person as a separate individual with their own awareness so that I can help to create a better environment where each individual has the opportunity to succeed. We hope that everyone will do the same and learn about um, about everything that we have discussed about today. And I hope that you guys have learned a lot from today's episode. Okay, Ms. Gia, thank you so much. Uh, any last word before we end the session? And hopefully this is not our last meet, yeah? Okay, I think that's all for me. So, if you have any question about benefit to community, about uh, race and culture, you can DM me on Instagram. So, I will reply you as soon as possible. So, yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for our cheerful guests, Miss Tia. So, we have come to the end of the program. Thank you so much for inviting guests. We would like to also thank for the viewers thank for you always everyone. opening your heart. Okay, thank song. you. Bye. I would like to apologize for any wrongdoings today. Okay.